Hey everybody, I'm glad you're back. This is part C, wrapping up the, the study we had last Sunday, uh, the 15th of March, where we're talking about knowing him, meaning let no one disqualify you. And then at the end of that, we actually got into some of the coronavirus and, and, and some of the guys got, got a little deep on me and, and thought, talked about different theories of, of uh, what this virus means at this time in life. And, and some of them are, are very interesting. And if you stick around, see if you want to see if you want to listen to those and, and try to enjoy. Uh, also, don't forget, uh, you can uh, text to give if you like to, to help out. That's up to you, but just let you know it's there. Uh, but back to the other part, know, knowing him meaning let no one disqualify you. I want to sit there and say is that <laughs> what most of the focus I've been in a lot of cases has been dealing with ministries or, or, or people in the body of Christ judging and, and putting up those ordinance of touch not and drink not and, 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 and party not and all that other stuff. But I also want to say there's suckers out there, and I'll call you suckers, who don't even believe in Christ or who sit there and have left the church all together and you try to put the judgment on us too. Time you see a brother that's in Christ is sitting there drinking a beer or the brother out there dancing in the club, you sitting there saying, look, he's hey, hey, he a hypocrite himself. That, I'm telling you right now, you better go somewhere else. The persons that don't even believe in Christ or reject the Christ and sitting there trying to judge people, saints who believe and trust in Christ and still want to drink their beer, still want to have their barbecue, still want to have their party, still want to go to the game, still want to go to the club, and you want to sit there and put them down because you think they don't supposed to be there, and then, then you got the church, you got two people, you got the church people that act like they don't supposed to be partying. And then you got the people who's party and sitting there think the church people don't want to party. That's a, that's a weird junk here. And all that is to me as far as this coming from the devil. Because the devil has fooled both, blinded eyes of both groups. One group trying to live by ordinance. And Galatians talk about who bewitched you to get into these ordinances and stuff. And then you got the people who sit there, I guess you don't do you have declared yourself servants of the devil, and therefore you want to sit there and tell the saints they can't have fun. I'm telling you right now, saints, if you want to enjoy yourself, you want to go to the club, you want to go to the barbecue, you want to drink your beer, drink your wine, have fun, dance, and everything else, as long as you're not sitting there doing things that hurt people, you go enjoy yourself. Don't let somebody tell you you can't enjoy yourself. And definitely don't let somebody don't even believe in Christ going to try to tell you you can't enjoy yourself. That's not acceptable. Until they come into the body of Christ, they have no business trying to judge the Christ, judge the children of God. Who is Christ? Trying to tell us and put us in a box. Did you 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 decided that you don't want to be in the box, but you want to try to put people in the box? I'm telling you right now, I don't want to hear it. I'm saying that this was why this wasn't even in the study. I'm bringing that into the video in commentary. People who don't even go to church try to judge the believers who go to church, and all you're doing is trying to run them out of the church and say, "Look, if you want to be with us, you got to leave the church. Then you can hang with us." I'm gonna tell you something, saints. Hang on, you go and do and do what you want to do, and you don't worry about what these people care about or accepting you. Ah, uh, you don't need to be accepted by either believers or non believers. You need to be accepted by Jesus Christ. Now, here's a script we use in, uh, in our last part of the study. This is dealing with Colossians chapter 2. Yeah, I'm talking, I'm just shifting because I'm, I'm just telling you, whether you're a believer or non-believer, you have all used that junk of trying to put rules and regulation on people, trying to tell saints they can't enjoy themselves. Well, I'm going to tell you something, the saint, you better enjoy your life because Christ came to give you life, life more abundantly. All we're trying to say is love one another. And love one another means don't sit there and uh, sleep with somebody else's wife. Don't sit there and cause some things and do things that cause pain to somebody else. You don't do that. Your job is to just love one another, enjoy your life. Amen? 
And that's all I'm, that's all God Christ only asks you to do. Just love one another. The scripture I was reading here in Colossians, I want that the music is off so I can sit there and let you hear the scripture. Colossians 2.20. Wherefore, if you be dead with Christ from the rudiments of the world, <laughs> why as those living in the world are you subject to the ordinances such as verse 21, touch not, taste not, handle not, that, that's Paul talking. That's, a, that's, that's one of the uh, writers in the Bible who's sitting there saying is, don't, go, don't, don't sit there and take that junk from whether somebody's a believer or non-believer of saying, you can't touch this, you can't handle that, you can't do that. Paul is sitting there saying, why are you going to suck your seven ordinances? Whether, whether from a believer or non-believer, why are you going to suck yourself, subject yourself to that? Verse 22, which all are to perish with the using after the commandments and doctrines of men. And I'm saying that is with believers as well as non-believers. You're all trying to put some ordinance on a believer and trying to get them to sit there and not have a, enjoy themselves in life. You're supposed to worship Christ freely. And you're supposed to love one another freely. You're supposed to enjoy yourself in life freely. Amen. Verse 23, which things have indeed, look at this, a show of wisdom in all will worship, will worship, and humility, and I call that false humility, and neglecting of the body, not in any honor to the satisfying of the flesh. Trying to sit there and come up with rules. You can't live by rules, saints. Not not man rules, not man doctrine, and not of the world. Definitely not of the people in the world. Who sit there and try to tell you what you can't be. The only reason they're doing that because they're trying to justify why they are not believing in Christ. Trying to say, man, you can't be yourself. Yes, you can. All you're trying to say is don't try to hurt people. Don't sleep with somebody else's wife. You know you got to be able to sleep with somebody else's wife. Don't sleep with somebody else's husband. You know you got to be able to sleep with somebody's husband. Don't sit there and get so drunk that you drive out there and kill somebody. You know it's wrong. Don't sit there and come like a crackhead and all of a sudden you think that, oh, well, see, that's fun. How about that's destructive? But the bottom line is this. And I like this. This is in uh, 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 4. And, and and I like Paul said I I I like go ahead and say verse one. I read verse one to four. He said, "Let a man so account of us as of ministers of Christ and stewards of the mystery of God. Moreover, it is required in steward that a man be found faithful. But with me, I like Paul said this." But with me, it is a very small thing that I should be judge of you. Paul is sitting and saying, I'm telling you, whether you're a believer or non-believer, it's a small thing to be judged by you. Hmm? Paul said, of man's judgment, yea, judge not my own self. For I know nothing by myself, yet am I not hereby justified, but he that judges me is the Lord. So you that don't believe in Christ, rejected Christ, drink, hanging out in the club, going there and do whatever you think you're doing, is a small thing to be judged by you. And you to sit there and embody Christ and sit there and, and, and forgot where you came from. So you sitting there condemning somebody who's trying to move and be transformed to the things of Christ, but you you don't have patience for it. So you want to judge a person. Paul is saying it's a small thing to be judged by you. And I'm saying the same thing too. I'm telling you, man, don't let nobody disqualify you. Know Jesus Christ and know him and his will. And I'm guarantee you, if you allow Christ to work with you, He'll change you, but he'll change you because he knows you and you do it willingly from the heart. Rules can't change your heart. 
following the Holy Spirit and submitting to the will of the Holy Spirit and the Father. That's all I'm trying to say. As believers, let no man disqualify you. And I'm saying this of both groups, those who don't believe and those who believe. Those who believe should know better, but Paul is telling them in the scripture, and you can set, tell that to them in the scriptures too. It's a small thing to be judged by you. All you need to do is love me, pray for me, encourage me, but don't condemn me. That's what Romans 8 said. Now there is no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. So number one is to try to put it back on the guilt trip. Amen. I, I want to say this because I think it's important. The gospel is to love one another. And for those who don't believe, God bless you, man. But I'm going to tell you right now, you're the last one can judge me. You're going to tell me I can't go to the club. You're going to tell me I can't have a party. You think I can't go to a football game. You're going to tell me I can't, I can't do things that they call fun. That was a liar. All right. I hope you enjoyed this last part. And, and then, look, like I said, listen to the theories these guys had concerning the uh, virus. But I just want to pass that stuff out because I know personally there's, there's both we believers catching from both camps. One camp trying to get you out of the church. It, it's funny. One church trying to get you out of the church too <laughs> if you try to enjoy yourself. Oh, Lord, God bless them all. But you don't have to do because it's not the building, it's Christ. So don't worry about it. Just believe in Him and get to know Him. That's our focus for the year. And that's what this, this study was all about. God bless you. Amen. Bye-bye. A, a, a saint is not trying to find a way to sin, but a way out of sin. So therefore, you know. Now, I, I did put on these slides right here. This one about, uh, and, I, and I'll wrap up with that. It's Colossians chapter 2. Mm -hmm. Now, check this out. Let no man therefore judge you in meat. That means, Chris, what you eating? Hey, Jimmy, that's the one that pork came in. Yes, sir. What, what, what? You know, you, you, you know, Islam is all about the pork. You know, you eat some pork. And, and I remember one time the uh, saints were sitting there talking about these diets. They say you shouldn't eat no lobster because that's a that's a garbage can under the water. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, because it, it's got it's got it's got skin, uh, scales. Yeah, right. In other yeah. words, they were trying to judge people based on you, what you eat. That's deep. Mm -hmm. You ain't say because you eat you eat the raw food. What's up with that? But, but I'm full. <laughs> there you go. But I was saying it said let therefore judge, let no man therefore judge you in what you eat. Hey, Chris, here's the one you like. I like. <laughs> or what? <laughs> or in drink. Or in drink. Now, do you to judge you because you what you drink? Oh, I'm relaxing. Yeah. There you go. Exactly. I'm relaxing. But but <laughs> what, what we have done in the disqualifiers is if you sitting there relaxing on your court on your front porch, on your couch, relaxing, oh Chris at the club. Oh, we got mm -hmm. we gotta let you go, man. You you uh <laughs> you 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 we we can't you can't be part of us if you do oh, that. Yeah. Right? Or look at this. Yeah, or, wanna, hey, that, huh? that's what it is right there. I don't wanna be part of you. I wanna be part of him. Yeah, oh man, Come that's a, hey now that's a t-shirt, <laughs> Chris. That's a t-shirt <laughs> right there. I don't want I don't wanna be part of you. I want to be part of him. Now you can be part of him in us if you want to be part of him. But if he ain't in it, then the foundation is broken, mm -hmm. right? The other one is or or respect of holidays, Jimmy. Mm -hmm. A holy day. You got some a holiday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, holy day. You got some people got a problem with you fellowshipping on uh, worshiping on Saturdays, right? And then you got another yeah. group mad with you because you worship on you don't worship on Sundays. Right. Mm -hmm. And then you got some get mad because you don't go in there every time the church doors open. Yes, sir. Or you simply don't keep the Jewish festivals. Uh huh. <laughs> but <laughs> on the new moon. Exactly. On the Sabbath. 
Look at the script. And look, look what the scripture says, though. But like you said, people introduce this stuff, but this is what the scripture said. Let no man, therefore, <laughs> Chris, judge you. Uh -huh. Eating those hot wings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and don't forget you got some beer with that hot wings. <laughs> yes, sir. I'm just hey, you saying. You saw me the other day. Huh? <laughs> you must have sold me in the Legion the other day. Come on, bro. Come on. Come on. Someone probably said, mm -hmm. they're going to judge you because you went to Legion. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. God, is, even the scriptures is telling you, don't be judging people because of this stuff. He, uh -huh. he, said, he said, which are a shadow of things to come, but the body is of Christ. 18. This is Colossians mm -hmm. chapter 2, sign it. This is 18. Let no man beguile you or trick you of your reward in a voluntary, Chris and Jimmy, humility. Mm -hmm. that, in other words, that, that there's that monk you're talking about. Uh, I, I saw T.D. Jake the other day, Chris. He was talking about, Chris, he said Christians try to paint the pictures that we're so weak that somebody can break in your house and you both sit there and just let them go ahead. Oh, God bless them. Man, can I help exactly. you? My fact, can I take the stuff out with you, for you? You know, oh, you, yeah. you, you can slap me all on the refrigerator because I'm such a lovely Christian. And I'm just, a, I'm. Yeah. <laughs> I told you, you know me. I'm like you say, I'm, hey, I'm going to activate that David juice in there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, you gonna say I ain't got sleep shot. I got I got gunpowder, and, and I'm I'm gonna I'm send you to the Lord. That's what I'm gonna do. That's but that's mm -hmm. what those little things people sit there trying to. Hey, Jimmy, they call that false humility, really. Oh yeah, that's what people try to do. False humility, and look, worshiping of angels, intruding into those things which he has not seen, vainly puffed up. In his fleshy mind. That's people. And not holding the head, which all the body, by joints and bands, have nourishment, ministered, and knit together, increased with the increase of God. Meaning, he rarely does come together so we can get strong instead of pulling away from one another. That's why I'm saying this. Even, if you see Brother Bear, tell Brother Bear, look, tell him, look at the video we talked about. The bottom line is we come together so we can be strong together. But but what does it say on even after that, which is even more powerful in my opinion? You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. He goes into, wherefore, if you be dead with Christ from the rudiments of the world, why, as though living in the world, are you still subject to ordinance? Woo! Touch not, taste not, <laughs> and not, which all are to perish with the using. Woo! after the commandments and doctrines of me. Yeah. So, I mean, if that's where you are, then why are you still dealing with the rudiments of the world? Come on. And subjecting yourself to certain ordinances. Yeah. That's Touch what... not, taste not, handle not. Come on. That, and that, Chris, those are the type of things that have turned people off. Yes, sir. Because we put all these ordinances on, all these rules on, and then we disqualify one another. I think Jim, one time we call it, the scripture, he's called it ministry of death. Oh, no question. You know? And that's what he said. I want you to do that. So that subject of this video today, because I ain't going to hold you off, I, I think we covered enough in there, is, is let no man disqualify you. Mm-hmm. You know? As a matter of fact, I think I have one scripture up here. I, I, I think I put it up here. Let me see if I got it. You know what, Jimmy, do you remember that one with... Uh, Paul said, I don't even judge myself. Exactly. Y'all get deep all you want. I don't even judge myself. He said, it's a small thing to be judged by you. Mm -hmm. But yet we got people doing that. And I'm trying to tell, say, I think we at least got to tell people, don't worry about that. <coughs> Matter of fact, hey, Chris, I told Chris, hey, Jimmy, you heard I told Chris one time, I said, those are, Chris is the type of people like a Paul. That 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 are called a spade a spade instead of somebody who's trying to play that false humility, Chris. You know what I'm saying? They're they, they not look. That ain't what Christ was looking for. Mm -hmm. 
He took somebody, Paul was somebody who wasted the church because he wasn't a mammy pammy type person. Yeah. I'm saying oh, is, yeah. you better, you, your personality, and I'm saying you're not, but you're not a pammy pammy, mammy pammy person anyway, period. But sometimes. What are you talking about? <laughs> He's not looking for that 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 phony Christian. Is all I'm trying to say. You know that he's not looking he's for that. Him. He's looking for somebody willing to say. My fact, who was the first one that gave preached the gospel, Jimmy? How did when, when Christ when Christ rose up again? You want to go back as a female? No. Uh huh. I mean, uh, yes, sir. Her. Yes, sir. What type of female was that? Since since they have no problem telling where she came from. Exactly. <laughs> she came up Magdala. Huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> they, they, I mean, they're making sure that even, Chris, they even making sure you recognize what Mary are you talking about. Exactly. Mary Magdala. Uh, Magdala mm -hmm. is where the prostitutes mm -hmm. were. Yep. She had no problem saying he's alive. She wasn't mm -hmm. afraid of anybody for her to preach the gospel because she's mm -hmm. used to dealing but look she used to dealing with men i'm just saying and i'm saying <laughs> and i'm saying this that's what god is talking about for us too is, is the fact is that he's not looking for the false humility he's looking for somebody to be real and I'm just letting you know you you probably don't understand that, but you got the gift, bro. <laughs> hey, look, and you got the gun, look, and you also got. Oh, Jimmy, yeah, you still got your gun? <laughs> of course. That <laughs> that you you don't have as many as Chris has, but. <laughs> hey, y'all know no. I, ain't, I ain't got that many. Now y'all talk like you got twenty. <laughs> I'm at three or four. Are you, I think. Are you on that? <laughs> I'm, at, I'm at three. I'm at three now. Hey, before my house got robbed, I had by six or seven, but I got three now. <laughs> oh, so that, <laughs> they took your gun? <laughs> no, you you remember when I yeah. got robbed a, a couple years back? Right. Yeah. Right. They, they, they got everything. Wow. It, it wasn't nothing but a blessing in disguise. Hey, you just don't know, brother. You just don't know. <laughs> And no, I agree. But that's the point is that God is looking for people who's going to be, you know, like you say, you give people that went to jail, they can minister to people better than somebody else that didn't go to jail. Exactly. And then I'm saying, you talk about people in the street, he can minister. Matter of fact, I don't think some of you guys are, and even myself, I ain't worried, you, you ain't going to punk me to sit there and say, I can't say Jesus Christ is my personal Lord and Savior. Well. You know what I mean? Yeah. Cause I ain't worried mm -hmm. about. I don't have to worry about what you think. Oh yeah. Cause if I worry about what you think, I'm never gonna be who I want to be. Our faith That's is it. in Him. That's what it's all about. So I just want to wrap it up on that fact: is let no man judge you or disqualify you. And I'm just saying this: when you're talking to people, let them know, man. It's just it's not ordinance of this world. Yeah, chapter two of the book of Colossians is a really good place to go and it really kind of, it's hard for you to misinterpret that. That's just plain factual truth. And that's Paul yeah. who wrote that, right? Absolutely correct. And Paul, Paul used to that because that's what he, he would, you know, when he was on the other side, that's how they were judging people and taking people out because of that. Amen? Amen. Hey, well, I hope you guys have a, a good uh, Sunday. Uh, All right. And then you do your own communion. <laughs> Hallelujah! <laughs> and look here, don't 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 allow the media and their portrayal of this thing to get you in an uproar and a panic. Right. The world is going to come to an end, but I don't think it's going to be today. This is. So I'm saying it, it ain't today. Yeah, this, this, this ain't it. And in my mm -hmm. opinion, this is only a precursor to just allow them to see what great lengths human beings will go to when they think they're in a crisis, so they'll know. In other words, they're just trying to chart and try to recognize human behavior in a situation like this. 
they gonna yeah. do something different later on. But this is just kind of to show them how things would be. You know what they got to do, and this is my opinion now. They have to get the masses to voluntarily get in line for a vaccine. They got to be able to shoot up everybody wow. voluntarily. Wow! But you don't know what they're gonna shoot you up with. So this is more or less just a let's see how they would how they would act and if we could actually come up with something. So next time they'll come up with something, but they'll automatically quote unquote have the vaccine ready. All you got to do is go to CVS, Walmart, or whatever, and get in line. You can get one, and you're going to be good. D and people going to be lining up by the millions D to be injected with something, and they don't know what they're going to be injected with. I'm going to be honest with you. I do think there is a coronavirus. There's been several coronaviruses. This is just another strain of the coronavirus. Yes, sir. But I believe 90% of this is a hoax. I really do. I wow. think it's all fake news. I really do. And I think the media is kind of fueling the frenzy. But I do think that there's hands in the background orchestrating this thing and documenting it. And, and, and it's a means of politics controlling the people. I do think there's some other things coming down the pipe. But I do think a lot of this is just uh, it's just a bunch of garbage. I really do. I really do. D. Yeah. Yeah. yeah man. I do. Could they, this one, I guess, yeah. you know, Jimmy, this one, they, uh, when they have people get in line is by <laughs> economic <laughs> impact. Right. Right. <laughs> I mean, this is when you ever had one. You stopped the games like you're talking about, Chris. You, this yeah. crazy. I've never seen this in my life. I mean, this is unprecedented in our lifetime. We've never seen where they shut everything down like this. Right. We have not. Yeah, it's unprecedented. Yeah. But now they know the great list that they can do, the things that they can do. I mean, what is this? Wow. This ain't about isolation. Wow. This ain't about isolation. Yeah. They're making you stay at home. Mm. Yeah. 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 And they're crippling the economy. They're crippling mm -hmm. it. Why? There's a reason. So this is this is part of this is a artificial way. Remember, I keep telling y'all that, that the economy to needs to reset. Say about that. This is an official. This is a a. They can't blame Trump for the correction because everybody's taking profits now. That's why this thing is going down. Everybody's taking profits. All of us that ain't got a lot of money or not heavily invested. We ain't really losing nothing. We ain't gaining nothing. Wow. That's the rest of the jokers that's up here making that. They're collecting money. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the gas prices, why gas prices drop? The, the, the Saudis are pissed off at the Russians, so they're going to flood the market. Right. All this is, the big boys are still fighting. It's old money versus new money versus the Russian-based economy or this so Anglo white economy still trying to take over because they don't want the brown oil guys to stay in charge. Wow. Now you're gonna have to cut this part off, but hey, it is what it is. Well what well, well yeah, only thing they can hear it, they gonna I got the live part, but they can't see you though. Know? <laughs> <laughs> hey, but, is somebody knocking at the door right now. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is deep, y'all. Cause you're right, they never did like March Madness, never stopped that before. Never stop a game in the middle of a game. It wasn't even yeah. the beginning. It's the beginning of the game, wasn't it? Some guy ran out there and said, "Uh, -uh somebody come up hot." Yeah. Yep. And that's the Indy, whole Indy racing, the Masters tournament, all, 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 all athletics, college, professional hockey, basketball, football, everything, everything, everything shut down. Everything. To include make a mega churches and stuff too. A lot of them not. Don't go to church. Don't go to church. Everything. Yeah, but see, here's here's it's like this here. Time something major happens, the American public or all people, you give up another freedom. Now exactly, exactly. This is just like I said. This ain't exactly. a freedom, but they're 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 getting ready to take something from you. You don't know what it is, and like like Jimmy said, maybe like I said, it's going to have something to do with your health. Like I said, they're gonna give you that shot, or the, hey, or they might be ready to give you that mark. You know, when they give you that short exactly. shot, that might be your mark. Exactly. You know what I mean? So exactly. I gotta know that everybody had that shot. Exactly. Or the or the prelude to it, right? Exactly. Yes, sir. This, this is a prelude exactly. to say, hey guys, exactly. you got to do that, so we won't have this issue. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Wow, exactly. man, that's deep, yes, bro. Sir. Exactly. Let me tell you something. Last thing I'm going to say. If the government tells you to get in line because they're giving away something free, I'm going to tell you something. Go the opposite direction. Yeah, wow. that's free. <laughs> yep. I don't care if it's a check. Be leery. Mm-hmm. 
Oh yeah, man, that's deep. Be very leery. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, deep. <laughs> I, I, okay, and you don't get something for nothing, right? No, sir. What's the one thing you got that they really want? What's your soul, brother? Because they say multi soul. Deep. He's proven historically that they're corrupt. So why don't we trust that? Well, well, so, so, mm -hmm. so, so, let me ask you a question, and it, just, just for conversation sake to go, is that is is Trump the right person because of because of his is that personality was something that was needed for this time because absolutely. this type of stuff can absolutely. come up. Yes. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Because he's he's not he's kind of like the anti-establishment on that. Let me tell you something. He is the right tool for this job right now. Wow. Express right now. Right because now. Because he, hey, y'all still saw them things where it's some folks still running around talking about, this ain't really happening, these people ain't sick. You know, you know they're, they're trying to discount all this and it really ain't happening. And, and, and I'm just going to believe what Donald Trump says. Uh -huh. They're coming on, they still on saying that. Wow. If Trump don't say it, it ain't going to happen. Woo! Yeah. 
And that's what we think about uh, uh, President Trump, too. He might be, if he's been exposed to it twice, that's no, pretty healthy. I think he's pretty healthy. But I mean, you know what? He would have to say something because he's, he's in too many people's faces every day, too many people around him all the time. But he's got to be responsible. If they didn't say it, then he's going to really affect almost the whole Washington, D.C. area. All of them will be affected. So that would really be a tragedy. A tragedy. So if he, if he really is positive, they're going to have to say something to quarantine him just to keep everybody else around that area safe. Right. Because uh, it's a lot of old senators and congressmen and stuff. A lot of them yes, old sir. and got underlying issues. You don't want them to break out in the White House. Because if it does, it's a lot of folks going to be susceptible. And that mm-hmm. would be a tragedy. Wow. Yeah. Man. Yeah. So, yeah, that, that that is something to think about. That I, I hope it's not that way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. Hey, well, I'm going to pray, pray out, y'all. Let, do, uh, head, see, have, your, have a good week, okay? So, I'm going to pray real quick. I'm going to pray real quick, and then I'm going to let y'all go. All right. Dear yeah, Father, right, thank, ahead, Father, thank you, Lord, for all two of us coming together to worship and fellowship and giving us something to think about. Concerning the, the disease that's going on and concerning the change of the guards and 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 we ask Heavenly Father that we just be the leader and guider, be the author and finish of our faith, not only for us as individuals but for our nation. I ask Heavenly Father to protect us and guide us in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Have a good Amen. week, brothers. Have a good week. Brothers. See you gentlemen later. All right. Bye-bye. Yes, sir. Bye-bye. All right. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye, Tanyana.